Hi and welcome! In this video I collected some moments from my life during this autumn, my trip to Stockholm, the moods and colors of everyday life. I hope you will enjoy it! In September, Elise's parents were visiting us and we took a short trip to Stockholm together. So we went to Stockholm on a liner. It's very convenient. It takes one night to arrive from Helsinki to Stockholm this way. You leave in the evening, you sleep in a cabin, and in the morning you are in Stockholm. I have been in Stockholm 12 years ago. <laughs> And I'm wondering why I haven't traveled there more often, because it's such a nice city. It's safe, people are friendly, there are a lot of places to see and to do. Very attractive city. Elise's mom loves visiting interior shops, and Stockholm offers a plenty of them. One of my favorite interior shops is called Bolia. I really like this Scandinavian style, it's so beautiful. If I travel to the country that has Bolia showroom, I always go there. So I took parents to one of those shops, and they really enjoyed it as well. After shopping and walking in the city, we took a lunch. Luckily, there are a lot of good restaurants in Stockholm, so finding a place for lunch is not a problem. In the afternoon we explored the old district of the city, Gamla Stan, because our accommodation was right there. Elie's parents booked a very nice, authentic apartment with an excellent location in the old part of Stockholm, right behind the royal palace. There was one bedroom, one living room with a sofa bed, and the kitchen was very well equipped. Let's also check what we got in a grocery store. Well, first we got grapes, <laughs> some drinks, yogurt, milk, juice, granola for breakfast, bread, mama's favorite crackers, some eggs, Philadelphia, some ham to make sandwiches, cloudberry jam, also Earl Grey tea and some herbal tea. So altogether we spent 570 krons, which is roughly 50, so 50, mm -hmm. 6, 7 euros. I guess it's the same in Finland. Huh? No. Oh. Following days, we visited some museums. I really loved the Viking Museum because it was interactive. You can touch, smell things, play games, and it was free of charge. Oops. 
Ah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Another museum I really enjoyed was Nordisco Museum. What attracted me the most was the Paris of the North exhibition. It takes you back in time to the golden age of haute couture. Those real rare vintage gowns won by the Swedish elite back then. I adore craftsmanship. It's just such a beauty made by skillful hands. At some point I was trying to learn cloth making. But for some reason I gave up on this and now I'm thinking that I should resume my sewing as a hobby. I kind of miss it. Mm. Yeah, so the food will be brought to you guys. Okay. If you need water, cutlery or oil to the bread, it's in the corner. Okay. And your yeah. coffees will be brought up here on, by the coffee yeah. station. Four oh. minutes. Okay. You want to fill that? Alors, combien du coup mmh. Ça a l'air très bon, hein Alors Deux mmh. contours de taille ou quoi mmh. Ça peut gâcher le bras. Does it smell? Mm, no. I really enjoyed my days in Stockholm, in the stylish, beautiful city. In the mid-September, parents left back to France. October brought lots of rainy days, quiet days. I was working from home a few times. I quite enjoyed solitude and darker ambience of my room. I work as an architect in a company and most often I go to the office, but sometimes I stay home for work. Recently I've been working on a new type of project for me, educational premises, schools, which was quite refreshing after years in hospital design, <laughs> so it kept me busy through the autumn. One thing I don't like about working from home is my meal choices. They aren't always healthy. I just make something quickly, a sandwich, and get back to work. I also tend to snack often while I'm working from home and accumulate numerous mugs on my table. <laughs> November brought the first snow to Finland.
It gets very dark in Nordic countries during colder season. Well, not all November days were so gloomy, sometimes it was sunny and pleasant. Sunny days bring most unforgettable sunsets. And the closer we get to December, the brighter the city becomes, decorated with lights and colors. <laughs> 